Okay, so we're going to go to this webpage right here. I'll put a link in the description. Me DLNA has been renamed Ready DLNA, and for some reason they completely broke the default installer. So we're going to have to download and compile it manually. So once you're done with this, you'll get to completely brag to all your other cool friends that you installed the media server from the source code. You downloaded the source code, you compiled it manually, and you installed it. Won't that make you so cool? I don't know, I get really sarcastic when I'm tired, I'm sorry. Okay, um, go ahead and click the links I showed. I'll give you a link to that thing. Just click 1.1.4 and then click the um, uh, mini dlna.tar.gz and just basically follow along with what I did when I was being sarcastic. Click save file, don't click open. And yes, I know I'm using a different operating system than before, but the setup's still exactly the same. Alright, then go to downloads and open up your most recent download. And drag and drop this folder to your desktop for easy access. Then you'll want to have your terminal open. If it's LX terminal, that's fine. Uh, I don't remember if you can drag and drop LX terminal, but if you can, just type in CD here and then drag and drop the folder. If you can't, just type in the folder path manually. It should be home slash your username slash desktop slash mini DLNA 114. And remember, it is very case sensitive. Press enter and your folder will be changed to there. Next thing we'll need is an extremely long string of text, just like everything else you do in Linux, there's long strings of text everywhere. This took me forever to copy down, so please don't go, I don't know, whatever. Uh, I actually found all these links myself. I had to make this string, so it's not like I just copied this off a forum. I had to go to like a thousand different pages to find this. And this is like my fifth take, so hopefully it works. Press enter. Once you paste that in, it will ask you to verify. Click yes. Then it should do this whole thing. Just wait for it to go. Yours will probably take longer than I have. Like I said, this is my fifth, my fifth take, so some of this stuff's probably already installed. All right, preparing, unpacking. Good, good, good. This is to take a head and take a look inside the folder just so you can see what we're working with. All right, when it's done, you'll be here. Dot slash configure and hit enter. All right, checking everything and hopefully it will be fine. I've seen this scrolling a thousand times. Okay, good, cool, cool, cool. Okay, if you get created creating make file successful or if it is creating make file, then that means that we're good to go. Awesome. The next thing up on our list is, and we'll go back to the readme file. Make should be fine. Let's try make alone. Make fine. Okay, good. Now for make install, we'll have to do sudo. All right, no errors. What? Awesome. You guys have no idea how long I've been trying to figure this out. Unless you've been waiting that time, in which case I'm very sorry. All right. And now it should be perfectly installed. All right, and here we are in the last part. You'll need to make your own configuration file. I'll have a link, another link down in the description of how to get to this site. You just go to um, the, the site that's linked below and scroll down a little bit. And you'll see the um, example file. It says copy all of this. Copy. And then go back to your terminal and type in sudo gedit. I think we used gedit last time. Yeah, we did. Then just paste all this text in. Boom. And then go ahead and click file and save as. And then go up here and copy this part. And just paste that in the name. It's saying, I, I tested this before going back to the recording, so of course it's going to say that I have a file name that you won't get this message. And now we have the basic configuration. You can put it in the path to all your things and set this. My original video um, had a lot more detailed default file, but again, for some reason, all that stuff's gone now. So whatever the, the newest version has, it, this, will, this will just read it. So this will work. All right, and you can start it up by typing in the path name. Let's go ahead and, uh, we already saved it. Let's go ahead and close this. The path to the file is slash user slash local slash mini DLNA. 
DL and A, D. For some reason, they had to add an extra letter down there. Whatever. I don't know. Okay. So now it should be up and running. Let's go ahead and test it. You should have VLC installed. Uh, I don't remember if I showed you that last video, but um, yeah, let's go ahead and open it. This is just to show you that it's actually running. Go down to Universal Plug and Play. And make, remember, you have to actually start this up before this will work. So I'm using sudo to run it as root. You don't have to. Um, user local fbin mini dlna I just say use the sudo just just because um, and then when you run it see look media testing server is what I had in there before so yeah it's actually up and running if we're on a device we actually be able to browse the folders videos and all videos but of course it's the virtual machine so send so now we've actually managed to install mini DLNA. So I'll splice this into the original video. Like I said at the beginning, I said it's going to be mixed in, but I uh, changed my mind. So okay. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The official remix of part two will be coming out later on, and I'll see you guys later.